Hi, I'm Doug Boyd, director of the Louis B. Nunn Center for Oral History at the University of Kentucky Libraries. One of the challenges you face when indexing oral histories is knowing how much information to include in an index. The Nunn Center has created a system of levels to establish a frame of reference for measuring the breadth and depth of indexing an oral history interview in ohms so we can plan and budget for large indexing projects. Currently we have three levels of ohms indexing, beginning at level 1 and increasing in content and detail to level 3. By viewing this video, you will learn what the Nunn Center considers to be a level 3 index, how it compares to a level 1 or 2 index, what the components of a level 3 index are, and why you might choose to index an interview at level 3. The level 3 index is the most detailed level, providing users with the greatest amount of information. Although creating a level 3 index will take the greatest amount of time on the part of the indexer, it provides the user with the most clear picture of the interview. A typical level 3 index in ohms will contain 15 to 20 segments per hour of interview time. Level 3 indexes make use of all available metadata fields. Along with the mandatory title for each segment, level 3 indexes contain keywords, subjects, partial transcripts, and a brief synopsis, as well as GPS coordinates and external hyperlinks when appropriate. Here's an example of a level 3 index featuring an interview with Wild Turkey's master distiller Jimmy Russell from the Kentucky Bourbon Tales Oral History Project. This segment begins at the 41 minute and 55 second mark when the interviewer asks Russell about how the Wild Turkey distillery makes its bourbon. This is a brief clip of a segment from the interview. If you would like to watch the segment in its entirety, please visit the OMS webpage at oralhistoryonline.org. What's your take on the process? Well, you know, say we haven't changed a thing here. We're buying premium grains. We don't use any GMO grains. If you know John Jerry Modified, we're not using any of them. And uh, we're more uh, lighter on the corn and heavier on rye and barley malt, where a lot of them a lot heavier on corn and lighter on. We're looking for that big, bold flavored taste that's one on one proof. And that's what we're looking for. And distilling at low proof is we're still putting it in the barrel at low proof. Uh, the higher you distill any things, you know, the less flavor you have it. And I always use simple terms when I'm explaining to people. You know, you and I can sit here and technically could talk about everything. People understand, we understand it. But out in, the, out in the public, they don't understand when you start talking about all the heights and esters and fused laws and all this. But I use a simple example. I'll ask people how they like their steak. Well done? Nobody. Oh, I know. I, well, why don't you want to cook it well done? No flavor. I said, you answered my question. That's the reason we still distill it low proof. The higher you distill anything, the less flavor you have in it. And say our warehouses are seven stories tall. Uh, you know, the bottom floors, it stays cooler all the time. The middle floors is ideal. The humidity and temperature is not there. It's real hot up. In, you don't need a sun in the summertime here. Just start up old steps. The further you go up with the metal clad bill and the metal roof, the hotter it's going to be. And uh, we're, we're looking at ours. We're sampling every year knowing how it's aged. We have a lot of windows in our warehouse. We open the windows in the summertime to get that good air circulation through the building. We close. Somebody asked if we're climate controlled. I said, yes, we're climate controlled. We open the windows in the summertime. We close them in the winter. That's climate controlled, isn't it? But we're always looking for that. And uh, we, don't, we try to put our barrels in at different levels every day's production. Because the segment is about the steps involved in making bourbon, we will call it Wild Turkey Distillery's bourbon making process. This title is not only succinct, but also communicates to users the essence of the segment. The title of a level 3 index provides the user with basic information about the content of the segment, just as in a lower level index, and therefore must still be as informative and descriptive as possible. A level 3 index contains a partial transcript for each segment. Although some repositories may choose to transcribe full interviews within this field, the Nunn Center chooses to use this section to create a short transcription to create an orientation point for the user of an oral history index. The Nunn Center transcribes only the first sentence or two spoken by the first speaker within the segment and follows the Nunn Center's transcription standards. In this segment, the partial transcription would read, Could we ask a couple more questions? 
In addition to the keywords chosen for the lower level ohms indexing, a level 3 interview will have a greater number of keywords and also contain more specific keywords than a level 1 or 2 interview. The level 2 keywords for this segment include distilling, warehouses, barrels, aging, consistency, ingredients, water, grains, yeast, rye, corn, taste, flavors, and barley malt. Level 3 keywords will build on this foundation and add the following keywords. Alcohol proofs, cooperage companies, Germany, heavy char, Lebanon, Kentucky, limestone water sources, limited editions, smelling, independent stave company, and white oak wood. Use keywords to enhance and complement segment titles and provide a greater number of access points within the interview. Use detailed and specific keywords whenever possible. Subjects are an important part of a level 3 index. Subjects are generally more broad than keywords, but also have the advantage of using controlled vocabularies to standardize topics across interviews. For this interview with Jimmy Russell, the Nunn Center has chosen distillation, distilleries Kentucky, quality of products, and whiskey industry Kentucky as its subjects. These are all Library of Congress subject headings relating to bourbon and alcohol production. A level 3 index should also include a synopsis of the contents of the segment. If possible, this synopsis should be more detailed than a synopsis written for a level 2 index. For this segment, the synopsis is, Russell talks about the ingredients Wild Turkey uses to make its bourbon including the grains, water, yeast, and barrels. And he discusses where those ingredients come from. He talks about why Wild Turkey distills at low proofs. He describes the warehouses where the bourbon is aged and gives his opinions on the aging process. He discusses the importance of keeping the taste of their product consistent. Much of this segment concerns the Wild Turkey Distillery located in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. In order to demonstrate this within the index, we will include the GPS coordinates for the distillery and the description Wild Turkey Distilleries, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. This will provide users with a link to the location in Google Maps. Not every segment requires GPS coordinates and some segments may not be clear about their location. In these instances, it's best to leave the GPS field blank. Only use GPS coordinates when the location is a major topic within the segment. Hyperlinks should be used in a Level 3 index when appropriate. Not every segment will require a hyperlink. For this segment, we have chosen to link to a picture of the Wild Turkey Distillery warehouse. We could have also chosen to link to the Wild Turkey Distillery website or to a Wikipedia article on the distillation process. When creating hyperlinks, it's good to be as specific as possible so that users are not simply sent to a generic website, which requires browsing to locate useful information. We've chosen to end the segment here in order to begin a new segment about new trends in the bourbon industry. The Nunn Center often chooses to index at level 3. Although it requires the most time and effort, level 3 provides the most comprehensive search and browse experience for the user. Now remember, the Nunn Center has found this system of measuring indexing levels to work best for our needs. Other repositories or institutions may wish to create their own system of levels and content based on their own resources and goals. Enjoy using Ohms, and good luck on your project.